time now. Doom, 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 How the fuck are ya? Freshly sliced cadavers. Galactic criminal here. So I'm sitting here having a few beers when I see this fucking video recommended to me on the YouTubes. And I just cannot help myself. So I figure in honor of one of the greatest deathcore albums I've ever had the pleasure of listening to, The Sea of Tragic Peace, we're gonna check this motherfucker out. Fit for an autopsy. Live in the K-Pit with a one, two, I'm gonna go out of dreams. <laughs> Turn it up! Made a monster at the end of it. This song is called the Sea of Treasure Beast, motherfucker!
almost as good as I have the album. The Zagas Cross Shepherd off our new record, The Sea of Tragic Beach. coming off the album. So this is fucking cool. We want to thank Kerrang. We want to thank Nuclear Blast. We want to thank all of you, all our friends, everybody that's here. Thank you guys so fucking much. This song is also off our new record. It's called Mirrors. Yeah! So good.
You guys are fucking amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, man. It's so Once good. Again, shout out to you fucking you guys for coming here on a Tuesday, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for being responsible adults and hitting up that fucking email literally the day it happened. That's the reason why all you guys are in here, and we fucking love your support. Every fucking day we grow stronger because of you fucking people out there. Thank you so much. What now? I was a man, man, man again. I said in the same way, like a man with nothing to win. I was a man, man, man again. Shoveling shit into a furnace. Sweating my shit on his own. The city is a fucking prison. Come here. Fight for the land. It was your given.
sisters we're all all need each other's back every single fucking day from this nightmare of a fucking world that we live in so have each other's fucking back this song is called black mammoth yeah Oh, dude. 
coming out October 25th called The Sea of Tragic Beasts. Pick that shit up. I love every single fucking one of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yo! I mean... <laughs> God, it was almost like I was there. <laughs> yes! Dudes, I don't I don't even know that I could put into words correctly how awesome that was. I mean, I guess I tried to say it a couple of times while the motherfucker was playing, but it sounded so good. It sounded so good. I mean, like the Cape It thing seems like they do a pretty damn good job at like recording the live stuff because I've heard like a few of them and I, and I did a reaction to the 741 one a while back if you ever saw that shit and like just like the audio quality was fantastic but not only that the like the music quality and the vocal quality was on fucking point like the entire time even later on in the video where you could tell he's getting a bit breathy you know he's kind of running out of running out of gas He's still kind of hitting, the, hitting those notes, dude, and making it sound almost exactly like it does on the album, which is fucking phenomenal to me, even to this day now, into like into how far into deathcore and everything, metalcore and all that, that I am, it's just still incredible to me that you can maintain a vocal like that. I guess, yeah, you do it like correctly and everything, with, you know, right procedures and, you know, like health and what not so whatsoever, but just imagining my head, that's just making your throat just raw and fuck. So I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, definitely not, for a fucking half an hour playing a bunch of songs like that. So that was just fantastic to me. But just like the technicality, the musicianship of this band, the melodic nature of their songs is just so fucking incredible to me, man. I, uh, when I rapped or I reacted to Mirrors, I had reacted to a couple of tracks by them in the past, but I never ended up getting any other music. And I ended up getting what's it called, The Great Collapse, after I checked out Mirrors. Yeah, I couldn't remember the fucking name of it offhand. He's a fucking dick. <laughs> I've fucking been rocking that shit ever since. Like, I'm, there's no way I can wait for this fucking album to come out after hearing Mirrors. I mean, there's no way I can just wait for this to come out to hear something by these guys. So I got that album, and it's just, it's so fucking good. Just so good, front to back, and it got me that much more, even more excited for this fucking album, for the Sea of Tragic Beasts. And Sea of Tragic Beasts, I don't do fucking album reviews, but I'll tell you, this thing is a masterpiece. I mean, I loved the Shadow of Intent album, and that was, like, in, in, in my head, straight up until this point. That's number one, numero uno for the year for me, for albums that I personally purchased. But I think this one is an absolute, an absolute contender. An absolute contender, and for different reasons, because they are a very different group. You know, like, especially because, like, the new, uh, the new Soy album is a little bit more, like, death metal to, to the death metal size slides the symphonic element, but they're very much that style, like the blackened style of death metal. And these guys are like a, like a melodic, melodic deathcore. I just, it's it's hard for me to describe, and I fucking hate genres, you know that shit. Just very different groups, but like in, tremendous in their own rights. I just, this was, this was so incredible. This was like the next best thing to actually being at one of the shows. But it's funny, though, because watching this, I think I mentioned something along these lines in the Sum 41 video. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember. But just watching the crowd there, especially for, like, a deathcore crowd, with some things that I do not miss about going to shows, especially the smaller, more intimate shows, it's like if you, if you want to get, like, kind of close to the stage or close to where the pit's going to be, you spend half the fucking time looking over your shoulder to make sure nobody's smashing into you. You can't really watch and enjoy the band so if you want to really just stand there and enjoy this shit and just bang your head and drink a beer you gotta fucking stand at the back of the goddamn crowd you don't get to get anywhere near close now that's not so bad when it's a smaller intimate venue like this just watching like the people that are at the front of the stage as some of them kind of like switched in and out you know throughout the show but you spend half the time looking over their shoulder and kicking people out of the way because idiots are doing fucking air karate all around behind them i remember as i've said this in a video before i went to See propaganda at a somewhat smaller venue here in my in my town, and I was like crossing the like basically empty mosh pit because whatever band was playing at the time, I forget who it was. I think it was like a Wilhelm scream or something like that hardcore band. Fucking kids were like spinning, kicking, and shit like that. I was just crossing the fucking empty mosh pit, like 20 foot, 20 foot wide empty mosh pit to the other side where there was a fucking bar so I can get a beer. And some idiot fucking roundhouse kicked me in the mouth. So <laughs> <I'm> fucking. <laughs> 
I punched him. I think I punched him in the side of the head or something like that or in the arm. I don't can't remember. I just swung at him and then fucking walked. He kicked me right in the mouth. Fucking knocked me for a loop. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? How you having any fun? None of these kids are even fucking watching the band. I mean, I've been in like pits and stuff and like for like ska bands and punk bands and like circle pitting, but I'm not fucking doing it the whole fucking time. I don't know. It's just gave me a little bit of nostalgia from going to like local shows and shit like that and seeing like the smaller crowds and how they interact with each other. I'm just, I'm too old for that shit. I could never be a part of that again. I'd be the, the fucking asshole old guy with a beard hanging out by the bar drinking a beer, just nodding my head to the fucking, to the music. But even so, I mean, I would still be wiling out like I was watching this motherfucker. That was so, so fantastic. I I just ever so, like, they were grateful that the fans were there and the fans support them and everything, but I'm so grateful that they did this. Getting to see this band, especially for me, personally, like, freshly, like, kind of freshly new to the group and a, a new fan of the band, being able to basically see them live is just an incredible, incredible honor, and I just, I cannot wait to continue banging in the sea of tragic beasts, dude. It's, an, it's literally a beast from beginning to end. It's an album for me personally, like some others, that I just, I have to listen to from start to finish pretty much every single time. At least so far in the first fucking day, the first fucking 24 hours of having the motherfucker. I've listened to it at least three times already. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> so hey, if you stuck with me to the end of this motherfucker, what did you think? of this live performance. Are you already a fan of the band? Do you have the album? What do you think of that motherfucker? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video so you can go ahead and watch it for yourself. For screen for audio, we get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.